This is solving equations and this is the first example of five examples. M plus 3 equals 5M plus 11. What we want to do here is solve for M. There's two important rules we have to remember from when we did solving equations previously, and that is letters on the left and numbers on the right, and when we change side, we change sign. So looking along the line, first thing we come across is the M. It's fine what it is on the left. Next thing is plus 3, so we'll circle it. It's on the wrong side, it needs to move. On the other side, first thing we come across is 5M. It needs to move. Plus 11 is fine where it is. So on the next line, first thing we do is write down the things that are staying where they are. So M staying here. And we have 11 on this side. Plus 3 is going to change side. It becomes minus 3. 5M doesn't have a sign at the beginning. What that means is that it's positive. If there is no sign, then we automatically know that it is positive. If, for example, you think of the weather, if I were to say that it was 8 degrees Celsius outside, you would automatically assume that means plus 8 degrees Celsius. If it were minus 8 degrees Celsius outside, I would need to attach the minus sign. And the same thing applies here. There is no sign, so that means it is positive. When we change side, it becomes minus 5m. Now we can simplify each side. m minus 5m is minus 4m. That equals 11 minus 3. 11 minus 3 is So now we have minus 4m equals 8. That means that m equals 8 divided by minus 4. Positive number divided by a negative number. First thing we can put down is the sign of the answer. It's negative. 8 divided by 4 is 2. m equals minus 2. And that's our answer. Example number two, we have minus six equals two brackets B minus three. So another equation we need to solve for B. First thing we should do this time is remove the brackets. So we have minus 6 equals, we have a 2 sitting outside this bracket, that means it times in everything inside the bracket. 2 times b is 2b, 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Next thing we need to remember is letters to the left, numbers to the right. So looking along, first thing is minus 6 should be on the other side and 2b should be on the other side. Putting down the things that are staying where they are, first of all the minus 6, then we can start to move things. Minus 6, change side, change sign becomes plus 6. 2b doesn't have a sign at the front which means it's positive. When we change its side it becomes negative 2b. So we have negative 2b equals minus 6 add 6. That means negative 2b equals 0. Negative 2b equals 0, so that means b is also equal to 0. And that's our final answer. Example number three, we have four 
c minus 5 brackets 2c minus 1 close brackets equals 2 brackets 1 minus c. So this time we're going to solve the equation and solve for c. The first thing we should do here is remove the brackets. So we'll just write down 4c again for the time being. We have minus 5 times this bracket. So minus 5 times 2c is minus 10c. Minus 5 times minus 1. A negative times a negative gives us a positive answer. Minus 5 times minus 1 is plus 5. On the other side, we have 2 times in the bracket. So first of all, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times minus c is minus 2c. Now before we start to move things around, change side, change sign and so on, what we should do is see if anything can be simplified first. So looking at the right hand side, we can't simplify here, but looking at the left hand side, we have some like terms, 4c minus 10c is minus 6c, and we still have the plus 5, that's equal to 2 minus 2c. Now that we've simplified, we can put our letters to the left and numbers to the right. Minus 6 is fine. Next thing we have is plus 5, it needs to move. On this side, we have 2, which is fine, but then we have minus 2c, a letter which should be on the left. So first of all, writing down the things that are staying where they are, we have minus 6c and we have 2 on this side. The first thing that's going to move is the plus 5. Change side, change sign, it's minus 5. Then we have minus 2c, change side, change sign, it becomes plus 2c. Minus 6c, add 2c, is minus 4c. And 2 take away 5 is minus 3. We have minus 4c equals minus 3. What we can do is change this to positive by multiplying through by minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 4c is 4c and multiplying by minus 1 on this side gives us 3. 4c equals 3 so c equals 3 divided by 4, or 3 quarters, and that's our final answer. Example number, examples numbers 4 and 5 are on equations part 2.